Kutle Ek and his family are no strangers to the history of tension on Cyprus. In 1963, Ek's father was killed during the Civil War. His father's remains were identified only last year and reburied here on the Turkish half of the island. He was shot from this side of the head and the bullet came out this side of the chin and uh, in, the, in the bones half, almost half of the bones of the skeleton are missing. It was one single shot. Today, Ek knows his father was killed by Greek Cypriot extremists. His mother never found out the truth behind her husband's fate. She died still hoping for his return. But Ek holds no grudge against the Greek Cypriots. He's been a long-standing opponent of nationalism of any kind on the island. I do not want to have any person killed in a war in Cyprus and I do not want to have any children to have the same fate as I had in Cyprus. So I want unification and peace in Cyprus. Ek is meeting with some Greek Cypriot friends. The only real topic of conversation right now is the upcoming parliamentary elections in the Turkish Cypriot North and what will happen if the conservative nationalists win. Every time a new majority came into power in the past, the new government undid everything and the negotiations failed. I hope it will be different this time. Ek is an advisor to the Turkish Cypriot president Mehmet Ali Talat, who is leading negotiations with the Greek Cypriots. They've been friends since their student days, and both men are long-standing supporters of unification. If a government with another policy somehow is going to be formed, then a, a big chaos may, may appear. That is, that is a fact, that is a reality. So my expectation is that the government should follow the same policy. Kutle Ek is a member of the governing Social Democratic Party, which is now mobilizing all forces to prevent a nationalist victory. Five years ago, a public referendum showed the majority of Turkish Cypriots favored reunification. Back then, it was the Greek Cypriots who said no. After the referendum, the Europeans uh, promised to lift the isolations. So the public opinion trusted that the JTP, Republican Turkish Party, can communicate, coordinate and interact with the European Union to lift the isolations. So they supported it. But observing that, it didn't make any change. It's not easy, but Ek tries to stay optimistic. Hello, have a look at our election program. I will, but I want two independent states. I'm against reunification. It's not possible to share a state with the Greek Cypriots. Reunification is the only way to ensure safety and prosperity. No, we need a separate state. Ak is unlikely to succeed in convincing many hardline nationalists, but many other Turkish Cypriots are divided. Disappointed with the current government, they still see the advantages of reunification. And they know that a nationalist government means unification will remain a distant prospect. Ek is reaching out to undecided voters. Their vote will help determine if the Social Democrats can come from behind to win.